How is it going, Tunes of the World? It is your pal, Mega Snoop, bringing you another Toontastic video. And in today's video, I thought I'd continue my little series on Toontown for Dummies. And today, I want to give you a brief overview of everything you need to know about the Cellbot HQ factory. Now, a lot of what I'm about to say is just a basic overview, so if I am missing anything, be sure to let me know by leaving a comment in the comments section below. Thanks ahead of time for that, and here we go. So the Cellbot Factory is the factory within Cellbot HQ, and it is required to be completed for at least one of the tasks in Daisy's Garden. Now in order to complete it, you have to go through a series of COG battles until you get to the final battle, the Cellbot HQ Foreman. Upon completion of each factory, you get a Cellbot COG disguise part. After 10 factories, you will receive your full-fledged Cellbot suit. Now after you get your Cellbot suit, the biggest use for a Cellbot factory is usually to get merits. Merits are needed, that way you can battle the VP, the Cellbot boss. However, we'll get to that in a different video. Now there are three routes through the Cellbot factory. Most people only know two, but I will share a third one with you that not a lot of people know, but probably should. But the first route is the short route. It's the basic route that everybody knows. Whether you just need a few merits or you want to get your first Cellbot disguise part, this is the route most people will take. Now this route consists of going through the lobby, the gear room, the warehouse, the west silo, the east silo, and then finally the center silo. There are 20 cogs to be battled on this route. As far as merits go, you will get a total of 480 merits during this route. In the old Toontown, you used to only get that much while there was an invasion. But in the new Toontown rewritten, they are always giving you double merits through the factories at all times. So no longer do you have to wait for an invasion so you can get the max amount of merits from each Cellbot factory run, you will get the double merits regardless. Also note that throughout the Cellbot factory, all gag experience is also doubled. The second most popular run is the long route. This consists of going through the lobby, the gear room, the boiler room, the pipe room, the duct room, the oil room, the warehouse, the west silo, the east silo, and once again finally the center silo. You'll notice that the last four battles of every route are the same, and that's because there isn't really any way of going around them. They are the end of the run and must be done. Now in the long route, there is a total of 35 cogs, which will give you 776 merits. Now lastly, I want to talk about the medium route. This is the route that not a lot of people know about, but can come in really handy because as far as time goes, you will get the most amount of merits for your time. It is a quick route to give you a high amount of merits and get you through the factory quickly. That way you can run through again and get even more. This route was introduced to me by Super Banjo the Second, so all credit for this route does go to him. The battles you need to take for this route start at the side entrance. The fun fact about the side entrance is that although any tune can go through the main entrance, a tune must have at least 31 laugh in order to enter the side entrance. The medium route consists of going through the duct room, the pipe room, a quick stop in the boiler room, then through the warehouse, and then west, east, and center silos. You will encounter 26 cogs during this medium route and get 586 merits. Now a lot of these cog battles are placed closely together, which is what makes it a fast and convenient way to get merits if that's what you're seeking. So that was a quick overview of the routes, merits, and cogs in the Cellbot factory. Now I'm just going to go over a couple more tips that you may or may not know. First off, if you ever question why people go to the west silo first and then the east silo and not go to the east silo first, it's just a matter of time. To go to the east silo, you have to open two doors, whereas with the west silo, you just have to open one. On both sides, you have to wait for an elevator, so there isn't really any time difference there, but opening the doors can seem a little long, especially when you're in a hurry to get merits and wanting to VP again. So a lot of people stray away from going to the east silo first just because they want to make the most of their time. Also, there are a couple rooms in the Cellbot HQ that not many tunes, if any, venture to go, just because they're absolutely pointless. The first one being the paint mixer room. There isn't really much in there. There's four barrels. One is for jelly beans, one is for tune-up, one is for a throw gag, and one is for a squirt gag. The gags you get back from this paint room isn't necessarily anything that you need in order to complete the factory. So if you really want to take the extra two minutes to go get the jelly beans, by all means. But just know most tunes won't wait up for you. Secondly is the warehouse lookout. After exiting the lobby hallway, you have a choice to go left, right, or straight. Left leads to the boiler room, right leads to the gear room, and straight will lead 
to the warehouse lookout. However, this is a dead end and will not lead anywhere, so there isn't really any point going there. Last is the lava room. Now this is something a lot of tunes do stop by, especially while doing a lawn factory. It is usually recommended to use sound through the factory, and not a lot of tunes have enough sound to get through the entire factory on their own. So the lava room is a great place to stock up on those sound gags, with the elephant trunk barrel that will restock your sound. And the last thing I want to address is something that I see a lot. Tunes going into the Cellbot factory in search for a mingler. Now they know a mingler can be found in the Cellbot factory, but what are the odds that you will really find one? Now this is most common when Toons need a key to Daisy's garden, and they need to recover one from, uh, the mingler. But do they really know what the chances of finding one in there are, and if it's really worth their time? Well I worked out the math of it, and you can just take my word for it that it's a slightly less than 50% chance that you will find at least one mingler. So if that's worth the time to you, then by all means, go for it. However, in my personal experience, doing a three or four story sailbot building on Oak Street tends to be more worth my time. But that's everything I got to share with you about the sailbot factory. If there's anything else I've missed, please let me know in the comments section. That way you can share your information with everybody. We can all be more well informed and help with the fight against the cogs. I hope everybody enjoyed. My name is Mega Snoop, and I will catch you guys next time. Hope y'all enjoyed, and if you did, be sure to smash that like button. It helps me know that my work is appreciated. Leave a comment and subscribe if you're new. You can check out my live stream at twitch.tv forward slash Megasnoop. Follow me on Twitter at Megasnoopttr, and I hope y'all have a toontastic day.